Hey, your name. Can I get your name, please? No. Let me get your name. No. I don't have to. I didn't commit any crimes. I don't have to ID. I don't have to give you my name, all right? Yes, so you do. That's a lie. Why don't you, like, find something better to do with your life? Cue the music. What's going on, guys? Disorderly Product News here. I got a video here from TPH Victims. He's a citizen out of uh, New Jersey. Now, what's the most mundane activity you could do? Think about it in your head. I'm going to surprise you with this one. It's hard to surprise you guys, but what if I tell you I'm about to show you a man who gets arrested for bird watching? That's right, bird watching with a Dunkin' Donuts bag in his hand, a business he patronizes that's directly behind him, and he's bird watching. But by the end of the video, he's going to be in cuffs. So unless Woody Woodpecker wants his privacy, I don't know how you get arrested. Unless an officer shows up on the scene that likes to escalate, 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 escalator all the way to the top. Uh, first stop, uh, county jail. Let's watch. Hey, what's up? Hey. Look at this climbing on the course. Jesus. Birds are crazy. That's the, the, the true meaning of brown bag in it. <laughs> I'm not so sure that they made good catch, and, and you're super intelligent. You ever, you ever drive down the highway and look at a bird sitting on the, on the side of the highway and the thing takes off as soon as you look at it? I swear, I think these birds are psychic. Especially when you look at birds like parrots. Oh God, are those things smart. Make sure it works for that thing. Things on my bird bag. Yes. Holy grandpa. You can teach these things to talk. They can do tricks. They're smart. Let's see if I can zoom in. Oh, look at that. Like a politician in your wallet. Just like a politician. Like, oh man, big poke chop. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Look at that. Poke chop. This is going to take forever to upload. This is cool. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for the subs. And, uh, uh oh, uh oh. Shoot the tourist case. Uh, I thought the tourist was going to take uh, the bird out and run me down. Hello. <laughs> hey. Look, I, I found your culprits. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. These guys have been busy over here tearing this garbage apart. I'm telling you, they are smart. No, he just pooped. That's nasty. They, they, uh, they shake the, the package around. They hear if there's anything rattling in it. Look at this thing. And if they hear something rattling, they keep pecking at it until they get some food. Until they get what they want out of yeah, it. Yeah, they're smart. Wow. Oh, I think he's going to go over there. Got a little method, huh? Yeah, yeah. I think he's going to go over there and puncture like, that oh, tire. Oh, watch, okay. oh, you just hey. gonna do it right in front of me, right? You Man. just gonna do it right in front of me. I'm, I know this bird is a tourist. I know it, the way this thing throws garbage around. One. Oh, I know, there's a bunch of them. And that's when 93 pounds of anger enters the scene and uh, disturbs the bird watching. Let's watch. 
Cody, why don't you like find something better to do with your life? Hey, one. I'm going to have to paraphrase because 93 pounds of fury here uh, needs to have his mouth washed out with soap. So what he's saying is, uh, if you record me, I'm going to knock you out. Wait, you're going in the wrong direction. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. No, no. Get it. Come back here. No, no, no. Come back this way if you're going to knock me out. So walk in front of a camera and say, if you record me, I'm going to knock you out. Uh, the gentleman, TPH Victims, doesn't even flinch, continues recording him. And he goes to the car. What happened to the promise? You ran right in front of my camera. You started talking that high-powered Howard stuff. And uh, poof, you're selling those wolf tickets. Can you really knock somebody out if um, your arms are the size of pipe cleaners? Can you really knock somebody out if I put you in a green leotard, you would be Kermit the Frog? Can you... Could that happen? I don't know physics. Uh, I don't think that could happen. But anyways, after Bert, you know what? He might have thought he was a bird at first. With the face guard and the little arms, he might have thought he was a bird. Our fault, our TPH's fault. Excuse me, I thought you were a little sparrow or something. Anyways, this is going to end somehow in TPH victims going to jail. Let's watch. Now, let's remember, TPH Victims is not an expert at this. He was just out bird watching. So there's a couple things he says that might not be right. Like he says, this is a public parking lot. Now, it may be a public parking lot. If there's a uh, Secretary of State building in there, if there's some kind of tax-funded building in the, in the shopping center, but most likely it's a private parking lot. But he is right when he says you can't trespass somebody. You get, if something's open to the public, you have to ask them to leave, and they have to deny that request. If not, then uh, I can open up a store, it's open to the public, and anybody I didn't like to walk through that door, I could just charge them with trespassing. No, that's not how it works. But every state's different, but obviously that's logical, so that's pretty much how it's going to work in every state except for um, Siberia, which is in a state anyway. So, anyways, let's watch your video. Threatening to uh, knock me out. <laughs> Put that right there. So you have a donut and some decaf. Branch police, I'm wondering if they're here to get the lights on. Two of them. I'm wondering if those uh, triggered individuals got something to say about this. Why'd they pull in here with the lights on? Like he's talking on the radio. Car number seven, car number eight, Long Branch Police. Putting on their masks. I think they're going to walk over here.
Yo, you the one? You can, uh, you the one who can call and come over here? What's your what's name? Going on? What's your name and badge number? Two seven eight Dela Cruz. What, your name? What's going on? Can I get your name, please? No. Let me get your name. No. I don't have to. I didn't commit any crimes. I don't have to ID. I don't have to give you my name. Uh, you already gave me your name. And why are you yelling? Yes, you do. That's no, a I law. No, That's no, the no. law. Do me a favor. Just That's move a law. On. No, no, move this on. is public. Move on. No, move on. no. Please move no. on. No. Call your supervisor right no, now. Do me a favor. Call Just your going. supervisor keep right going. now. Going You're violating my first no, and no. fifth amendment rights. You're acting disorderly. Go. You're, no, I'm not. That ain't even yes, going to stick. Are. You over here uh, trespassing, sir. No, I'm not. Tra ha trespassing. You first, you have to be trespassed, and then you can serve a trespass after that. What's your name and badge number? It's uh, oh, yeah. something Kim. Can I have your badge number? 327. 327. What are you doing here, sir? What does it look like I'm doing? I don't know. It looks like... You don't know. You see me standing here with a bag of donuts. Are you going to let me talk? You asked me a question. Are you going to let me talk? What kind of directive is that? You asked me a question. Oh, yeah? Did you ask me a question? I didn't break any laws. And you know what? You want to know something? My Fifth Amendment right is not to aid you in your investigation. You're violating my Fifth Amendment rights. How am I violating the Fifth Amendment? I, I, I want to speak to a lawyer. How are you? I want to speak to a lawyer. You're not being a place on I don't website. answer questions. Okay. I don't answer this questions. Is property. I'm not. No, it's not you, private property. Are you done buying your business? No, no, no. It's not, private property. It's not private property. It's not private property. Save it. Save it. And as far as trespass goes, do me a favor, sir. You gotta go. You do me a favor. You Mind your business. People. Don't violate the law. Don't run people over. So, 1150 placed under arrest. That's 23 seconds after he was told he wasn't being placed under arrest. And a minute and 45 seconds after Officer Dela Cruz first engaged with TPH victims. No, no, no. You're under arrest. You can't. Uh, under arrest. Put your hands behind your back. Hang on. Take my phone. Put your hands behind your back. I'm not resisting. Okay. Just relax. I'm not resisting. Okay. Here's my wallet. I don't need your wallet. In this pocket. Okay, I don't need your wallet. Here's, here's the wallet. This pocket. Okay. On that is the guy threatening me that probably called you. You can't shut that off. I'm on. I'm right here. Okay. What am I being placed under arrest for? What am I being placed under arrest for? So that's how bird watching turns into an arrest. If you didn't know, now you know. The end result was TPH victims paid a 300 and some odd dollar fine. He said uh, nothing would be on his record. That was uh, New Jersey, the state they were in. Uh, when I talked to TPH victims, I put the exact police department in the description. That was Officer Dela Cruz and Officer Kim. Now, I have a new channel called Disorderly Product News Presents the Caparazzi. I want you guys to go on over there and subscribe. It'll be in the description. I'll also pin it to the top comments. Also, make sure when you go to Disorderly Product News, a lot of you guys are subscribers, but you're going to go to the page and it's going to say you're not subscribed. They're playing with me. They're messing with me. So, uh, just know that. And there's a lot of big things coming up. A lot, a lot of big stories coming up. What if I told you? Uh, um, a certain big city sergeant is suing a popular YouTuber that you all know. Uh, what if I told you that James Gibson, the man who has the case law for torture by a law enforcement agency in the United States, he is the Terry in Terry versus Ohio. Gibson are the people versus Gibson. A man who the state of Illinois tried to put a needle in his arm and end his life, even though uh, we uncovered internal documents, internal memos that said they had a very weak case, but they still went after the death penalty. Understand this. When uh, you get the death penalty on your death certificate, reason for death will be homicide. Homicide is a medical term. Homicide, suicide. So it is state-sanctioned murder. Um... He still bears the scars. Uh, his body is still deformed from 
the torture. He spent 29 years in prison. He stood by a cell door for 29 years. He turned down seven deals. If he would not go after his petition of innocence, he turned them down. He might have never got out of prison. His co-defendant, he didn't do the crime, so it wasn't really his co-defendant. But in court, the person they said was his co-defendant got out years before him because he did take the deal. I'm talking about a man who's Ice water runs through his veins. I'm talking about a man who's cut from a different cloth. I'm talking about James Gibson. The controlling case for torture in the United States is coming to disorderly product news. Good night.